What's happening, folks? Gerald here, aka JFro90, coming at you with another reaction, another Prince reaction. This is Prince live doing a rendition of Alph Alphabet Street mixed with um, It Takes Two. I know of this only because of a clip I've seen of Rosie Gaines. Shout out to Rosie Gaines. I love her, love her so much. I mention her anytime I can. <laughs> and, um, I saw a clip of this and her doing It Takes Two and just loving it. Um, I think I saw that either on Facebook or Instagram, but. I gotta see the full performance. Y'all, we, we're having a full new understanding of Prince and performance on this channel. So getting to it. Um, also, this is, um, I chose this one because this is 1990. And at the time of filming this, I don't know when it'll come out, but um, my birthday is January 27th. 1990 and 1990 is one of my favorite years in terms of entertainment and music just that so many artists even artists who become my favorites or who i have a respect for if they it's, it's so it's weird but maybe i'm just very attached to the year but it seems like there was always something cool going around in 1990 so anyway this is a part of celebrating that so um before we get to it, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And now, without further ado, this is Prince with Alphabet Street Live. What's also Rosie Gaines doing It Takes Two. <laughs> yes, there, over there. I'm gonna try. Hey. Cool, 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 the Tennessee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, y'all, sing it. Everybody in the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go. 
I think I might prefer that to the recorded alphabet. Okay, there's there's no think about it. I do. <laughs> alphabet Street, I love. I mean, and I love because of the background harmonies and that hard hitting beat. But um, it's never been like I can say in my top fifty Prince songs because Prince got a lot of songs. So Prince fans know that's that's not that that's not no insult or nothing. It's in it's in the top hundred. It's in, I'd say probably even the top sixty. But it's it's not one I go to often. But uh, that that I need that I'm gonna be ripping that audio because oh man. But Rosie, I I love someone mentioned before that they appreciate that I shout her out uh, when she's in the Prince performances. And y'all don't know, she really is one of my favorite vocalists of all times. I ha I had a real revelation when there was some, because I kind of grew up with Diamonds and Pearls. Diamonds and Pearls was probably the first Prince song that I remember the playpen days. I, I talk about in like Whitney videos and Patty and Aretha. Um, that age range of being three, four, I remember Diamonds and Pearls being played on the radio often and say and asking my mom, who's this? And my mom saying Prince. So it's that kind of song. But there was a point in my teenage years where I saw the music video for the first time during that point. And seeing Rosie, hearing Rosie's voice fully and it, it's funny because it's like I knew the song before, but I don't think I think when you just hear the audio, you don't quite connect, especially as a teenager. And you're just kind of you're casually listening and stuff. Hearing what her voice did in that song was something and it got me really interested into her solo music. And so for every album, every Rosie Gaines album, I'm listening. I got appreciation. My favorite is Closer Than Close. My favorite song of hers that's like a three-way tie right there. It's a mix between I Want You. It's a mix between, um, what's it called? I Almost Lost You. That's that's that one. The Rosie Game people know. That's I Almost Lost. I had a dream. I almost lost you, she said. And <laughs> um, But then there's another one I love. Uh, Can't Get You Out of My Mind. Um... She, Rosie, she's so, she's so underrated. Her music, it, her, it's, it's all, her voice, her, she can rap. Because she, she raps in her solo music too. And she just, this isn't about Prince, but I just, I, I, hey, I will use Prince to spotlight Rosie. I think he would appreciate that. Much love to Rosie Gaines. Y'all give, y'all listen to Rosie Gaines. Her, all her albums is on all this stuff. Say hello to her daughter, Toya, because Toya passes the love on to Rosie. Hi, Toya, pass it on to Rosie. We love you, girl. Well, well happy 2023. Yeah, anyway, 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 that was great at my energy. And I, Prince and Rosie together, just so much fun. And. And um, hope you all enjoyed this too. I certainly enjoyed making it. And um, 
please go ahead, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you would like to follow me on my social media, that's in the description below. If you would like to tip me, sponsor requests, or um, check out my um, Amazon wish list. Like I said, my birthday is January 27th, coming right on up. I don't know when this is video going to debut, but it's never too late to celebrate. That's what I believe. So anyway, <laughs> you can also join my Patreon. Um, but two, what I would really appreciate, if no matter about giving or anything like that, um, I'm very close to hitting 4,000 subscribers. If you could subscribe, if you're a returning viewer and you enjoy what I do and you just haven't clicked that button, if we can get there before January 28th, the midnight after my birthday, I would love it. Either way, it's going to happen soon. It's going to happen before like this time next week. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen, but it'd be real cool if that, if that was like a little birthday present too. So anyway... Thank you all again very much, and beyond everything else, please take care of yourselves and each other.